What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from the Road Ranger in Rochelle, Illinois. Wanted to talk about some of the differences between being a company driver at Prime and uh, driving for somebody that has a private fleet within Prime. Before I get to that, I want to talk about this load that I just got. I was on the verge of turning it down, you know what I'm saying? It's a four drop load, so one pickup, four drops, two right in the heart of St. Louis and two on the outskirts of St. Louis. Not too excited about that, but when I looked at what my other options might have been, you know, I was in prime, a prime area to be headed up, uh, headed out to New Jersey, Jersey City, New York City, all that kind of stuff, or possibly headed out west. So, west. So I figured I would just, uh, stick with what uh, I got so we're gonna be doing that one of the benefits to it is I don't pick up till tomorrow at 0600 so it is now uh, 1500 so I got a little time to relax you know what I'm saying so that is good but back to this company driver versus driving for private fleet first of all if you're driving for somebody that has a private fleet at prime you're gonna get all the benefits of being a company driver at prime health insurance 401k you know any of those type things that you have as a company driver at prime you have that driving for a private fleet at uh, prime um, I'm not gonna get into what I pay my driver out of respect for other fleet owners out there um, but typically you're gonna make more sense per mile and in my case, one of the things that you don't get uh, driving for a private fleet at Prime is automatic fuel bonuses. Now, there might be a fuel bonus that a private fleet puts out there, but it's not, you know, just a given. So to offset that fuel bonus, what I do is I pay a certain amount per drop. And uh, that more than makes up for what the fuel bonus would be. And then... Uh, You'll often find fleet owners that give bonuses in other ways. So another way that I uh, give bonuses would be, you know, I pay my driver $100 a week for every week that she's out. Now, since it's based on cents per mile, I really don't try to micromanage my driver. If there's a load she wants to or doesn't like for any reason, whether she doesn't like the shipper, receiver, doesn't want to go that place in the country, whatever it is, she has 100% of my blessing to turn down that load regardless of what that load would pay me. Sometimes, and if you're driving for a private fleet, there's gonna, it's always gonna be a little bit different. You have some people that are micromanaging their drivers. You have some people that like me, I just try to stay the fuck out of the way let her do her job now sometimes there's a you know as a driver and as a fleet owner there's sometimes there's sometimes there you know you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place kind of you know what's good for the driver is more miles what's good for the fleet owner is more revenue but I'm a firm believer and it all works its way out, so I'm not trying to get in there, turning down loads and doing all this kind of stuff. Take what you want to take, don't take what you don't want to take. Now what I actually do is, like this this morning as a matter of fact, I just sent Myra a message and I said, looks like you had a lot of short loads this week. I'm going to make it up for you on these bonuses. So that takes some trust, you know what I'm saying? Trust that she's not looking at her loads being like, oh God, here's another 300 mile load or here's a 170 mile load. You know, that's not doing me any good. She knows that I'm gonna make it up to her um, in bonuses and a lot of other people will do that as well. Uh, typically, you're gonna have more flexibility. Now, it's all gonna depend on that particular fleet owner, but uh, typically you're gonna be able to have more time off. Um, And I'm talking beyond like, you know, 
my driver doesn't do it, but as much as she stays stays out, if she said, Lyle, I want to take 10 days off, I wouldn't even blink at it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you're going to have more flexibility from that. I'm not 100% sure if company drivers can take their trucks off the yard in like Springfield or you know some of these other terminals. I'm not 100% sure if they can or can't, but you, generally you're going to have that opportunity if you're working for a... Uh, a fleet owner um, I'm trying to think if there's really much beyond much beyond that uh, you know one thing I would say you know I do think that some people that get out here and maybe start this are getting a little bit ahead of their self potentially if I was kind of toss, you know, going between working for a private fleet and maybe being a company driver at Prime, I would definitely at least ask about the financial stamina of who you go to work for because everything is fine until it's not fine. You know what I'm saying? So if, for example, we have a coolant issue on the truck that Meyer is driving right now, Asking her to get the truck into Springfield, get a hotel at the Oasis. You know what? Maybe it, you know, maybe that might be hard for somebody that doesn't have as much financial stamina behind them. You know what I'm saying? So I would at least ask that question. Uh, Cause that that would be very important. Uh, you know, some of the other things now that I think about that aren't necessarily going to be automatically paid that would be paid to a company driver would be stuff like breakdown pay and things like that and that would be something to ask somebody if the truck breaks down and I'm in the shop how am I getting paid you know stuff like that those are things that uh, you should uh, ask about as far as detention goes uh, detention on the company side gets paid so many dollars per hour and I think it gets paid I might be wrong on this 100% of the time uh, on loads that are over, you know, the detention thres threshold. On the lease side, detention doesn't, isn't automatic. So if we get paid or if the customer pays Prime, then Prime pays us. And what uh, each fleet owner is going to do a little bit different as far as detention goes, getting paid to uh, their driver on their fleet. I pay 50% detention, which is way more than what you would typically get as a company driver, even at 50%. The reason it's not 100% is while that truck's detained, that's stopping the truck from making money as well. And that's going to be something that's going to vary from fleet owner to fleet owner as well. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing. hands looking good no ashy knuckles or nothing uh, you know some other things you might want to take in consideration you you kind of have fleet owners that pay out in a number, number of different ways as far as any bonuses or and there's one other thing I need to be talking about but in, as far as how bonuses are paid and things like that, you have some like larger fleets that might be set up as an S Corp where they might send out their own W-2 and uh, pay their bonuses out that way. So you as a driver, if you're driving for that fleet, might get a W-2 from Prime and a W-2 from that fleet owner. Uh, what I do is I have it set up where my... Uh, payroll advisor will allow me to make one transaction a month to pay out bonuses so we keep a running track of all bonuses and uh, I update that weekly and then whenever she wants to get paid out I will uh, pay that bonus out and that bonus can get you know that's been up to like 5,000 stuff like that uh, over 5,000 so generally she doesn't take it every month sometimes, so it kind of rolls 
forward, but I can do one of those transactions a month. And the good thing about that from my end, it shows up as an expense on my end and it, she gets taxed correctly on her end. You have some fleet owners that like either will pay out cash and bonuses like that or else they'll be cash apping or Zello or not whatever that shit's called. You know, so those are things to kind of keep in mind. One other thing that might be a little bit different is the uh, Christmas bonuses. Typically company and lease have different uh, Christmas bonuses, but the Christmas bonus that would apply for that truck would be the lease uh, you know the lease Christmas bonus so I'm not exactly sure what the Christmas bonuses are going to be for a company or lease drivers this year basically what I told Myra kind of in a way is you know let's see what comes out you know if you plan on staying out you could either take your choice between the company uh, Christmas bonus or you know what it would be on the lease side and you can kind of make up your mind between those two. So uh, she can kind of have the best of both worlds if she wants on that end, or at least choose what she thinks might fit her best. But I think the one thing I can say about it is, you know, it gives you a little bit more flexibility. And, uh, you know, I think one of the comments that I heard from somebody was, you know, I already have one boss. Why do I want to have another boss? You know what? I can't speak for anybody else. Myra calls me boss, but I'm far from a boss. I'm more of a facilitator. If she has any questions or things like that, or maybe she's concerned about hours of service, you know, she might ask for my advice, but I don't really look at myself as a boss. I'd stay pretty much out of the way. Uh, And uh, just uh, let her do her thing. So that's going to vary as well. I do know there are certain fleet owners out there that are a little bit more involved than I would be. But, uh, you know, those are some questions to ask anyway. Possibly we'll be looking for a new driver coming up here in a little bit. I've kind of been tossing it around. If I want to get another driver to put in another truck or if I want to keep the truck that Myra's in as like a spare truck or maybe sell it I'm not 100% sure but potentially going to be looking for a driver coming up here uh, shortly and uh, we'll kind of throw up the bat signal when that when that time comes around but hopefully that answers the question that uh, was asked to me in my comment section a little while ago as always, listen, I do appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. As always, comment, subscribe. I'm out.